The majority of these vehicles are being recovered with a three-day delay. Yes, they are. 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 Yes, and so these are not sophisticated out, uh, outlooks, but as we move into the rest of this year, we have an overall uh, increase of 1.3% in part one crime, and in much of that increase uh, in the property arena is in these vehicle-related thefts. So we ask people to lock it high to keep it. Um, and then finally, I move down to our officer involved shooting. I want to report uh, that we did have an officer involved shooting last week. I'll read a brief statement. Uh, relative to that, and it occurred on August 9th, uh, a radio call in the West LA Patrol Division <laughs> late evening. Uniform patrol officers responded to a domestic violence radio call of a suspect involving a suspect later identified as Mr. Eric Boger, who was reportedly armed with a shotgun and two handguns. Mr. Boger had reportedly fired multiple shots at a female victim inside of a residence approximately 20 minutes prior to the radio call. The person calling us to this scene was actually a security guard who was standing by with the victim near the, re the residence. Uh, the comments of the call also indicated that Mr. Bogart was intoxicated and while not suicidal, he had battered the victim. Our uniform officers deployed around the residence and um, Mr. Bogart retreated into the residence and barricaded himself, refusing to come out. That resulted in members of our Metropolitan SWAT and weapons, I'm sorry, Metropolitan Special Weapons and Tactics uh, team responding and as they um, relieved the uniform officers, this is their standard protocol, around the residence and in the following uh, lengthy efforts to have him surrender, Mr. Bogart uh, stepped out and fired uh, multiple rounds at our SWAT personnel which resulted in an officer involved shooting. Mr. Bogart then went back into the residence and SWAT later entered the residence and found him and placed him in custody. Uh, the LA Fire Department uh, paramedics assigned to the SWAT team yeah, determined that Mr. Bogart the was deceased man, um, as a result of gunshot wounds. There was no officers that were injured during this incident. Three handguns and a shotgun were recovered from the residence. Uh, force investigation responded as they, uh, as they do and are handling the investigation as did uh, a representative from the Inspector General's office as well as the Los Angeles District Attorney's uh, officer involved shooting rollout team. That shooting brings us uh, year to date to a total of 33 officer involved shootings involving hits as well as non hits. Uh, last year's uh, that number was 26, so an increase of about 27%. This year we have had, thir I'm sorry, this year we have had 12 fatal officer involved shootings. Last year we had that number was 13. Uh, we'll continue to make these reports to the commission next week as been requested. And lastly, I'll move into our personnel numbers.